All right, gamers, let's take a look at this. Um, in the today's Mad 25 Offensive Scheme of the Week, we're going to take a look at a three-headed rushing attack out of the Houston, Texas playbook. Uh, and what we want to do here is uh, the, the, the formation is the trips tied in, and we're just going to come out in it. Just, uh, we, we're normally idle to it. We're just going to show you the plays right now. And uh, let's go over the pass plays before we go over the run plays uh, just real quick here. So what we like to do is the first pass we like to talk about is the Jags wide screen. And, and this is a really good complement to our running game because it's a screen pass. And screen passes are good because normally in a running game, if they're trying to stop it, they're going to bring heavy pressure. So we're going to put DeMarco Murray on a blue route. We're going to put Miles Austin on a hitch route. We're going to drag Terrence Williams. And we're going to put Des Bryant on a smart routed out route. What we like to do is we like to motion Austin across. We're going to snap him when he gets to the numbers on the right side. And if they're two men under, we can snap throw that and get a nice user catch on the outside. Uh, literally, all you have to do is just snap throw it, and you're going to click onto your dude and go get the ball. The only time that won't be an option is if they're in cover two. And uh, so it's audible to cover two here. And if they are in cover two, um, then what we can do is uh, we can hit our screen pass. So... Motion Austin across, and okay, so we see he falls, so we think it's man, but it's not the ball. Okay, he's in cover two. So immediately we just hit our drag uh, over the middle, and you see we get that good blocking on the drag. Now, sometimes um, it works better than other times, just depending on what happens uh, with the blocking and the, and the people who are pass rushing. But more than often, it'll work really well. We like to pass it about, uh, about 4 or 5 o'clock on this drag route. Um, you see, just back it up, lob it over there, and you're just trying to get him in space with the blockers. All right, guys, if that's not open, um, this is going to mean that they're in a, in a you know a cover two with like a spy or a man, or they're making adjustments. So what we like to do is um, we like to have other reads. So our our next read on this play is going to be um, the tight end on this. So we look, okay, that's not open. Oh, shoot, that's an open. Look at the tight end. Three guys blocking for him. I uh, can get him in some space and just let him run to daylight. All right. And then the fourth read on this play, and if, if, the, if this is really just a big-time flood to the left side of the screen, um, the la fourth read on this play, we're going to just look at the, the out route, see if it's open. Against uh, two men under, it's going to be wide open. That time I didn't get the ball passed off to him, my bad. But normally, uh, you'll have time in the pocket. If if none of those first three or four reads are open, normally the out route will be open. And um, that's why we like to hit it when we like to hit it uh, as a fourth read here. So, rush it across, get back. Now we hit the out route, and we see it's going to be open against man coverage. Now, and then the last read on this play is actually probably the best read on this play. Uh, probably the the route that's going to give us the most success against coverage defenses. You know, this is the only time you'll probably ever have to go to this route. But you're going to put, like I said, DeMarco Murray on the blue route. He's this read, and we're going to set to play up like we normally would run it. And here they're going to be in some kind of max coverage situation. We back up. Running back goes on the route. Hit him. We got five blockers out there for him. Now, Jason went and got in the way there. But, I mean, you see the uh, amount of blockers that this dude's going to have for him. <sighs> Excuse me. And we're going to take advantage of this. So it was there. There it is. And just get him out there. And, um, you know, you just this is, uh, you know, used for situations where, you know, they may be blitzing heavily. And um, this play is really going to be doing a good job of beating it. And then you see you can have him just sneak him out of the backfield on that delay blue and let him do his thing. But it's just a really good read to have. It's a really good option to have out of this trip side in. Next play I want to talk about is play action slot quarter. And uh, what we like to do in this play is we like to put DeMarco Murray on a wheel route. We then like to put Des Bryant on a smoke screen. And uh, that's all we got to do. Now to snap the ball, we're going to read it. Uh, going to read it right to left. So we're going to read DeMarco Murray first. Against man coverage, he's going to get a ton of space and uh, you know get him a one-on-one -on -one with a safety or corner. All right. Uh, and once we do that read, then we're going to look to the smoke screen on the left side. So we look to the wheel, not there. Look to the smoke screen, not there. And then we look to the corner route, and you see the corner route is normally going to be open. Uh, the reason we put that smoke screen out there, uh, for those guys who don't know, is because we're basically creating a smash concept. So if they run a cover two, uh, this play is going to destroy cover two. So you see, okay, that's not open, that's not open. But look at that smash corner route. 
We need to wait a little bit longer, but you see it's it's getting it's starting to come open. Oh, excuse me. But uh that's the smash quarter. That's our sec that's our third read on this play. And then our fourth read is the tight end on his corner route. Uh, here we're trying to show you the smash route again. There you see it. There's the separation I was talking about. And then we want to hit the uh the, the next read is to hit the tight end on the corner route, which is also going to be covered, which is going to be cover three, cover four, cover like that, and also going to be manned a lot better than the other corner route. And you see that it's going to be our fourth read on this play. And then our last read is is for situations where they may be running a lot of coverage defense. Normally, post routes are really effective for beating coverage defense this year. So Terrence Williams is going to go across. And you see, look at that separation he gets, and. Uh, you know, a pretty good read to have late in the game. So let's just look at it. game speed. One, two, three, four, five. And that's about how long it's going to be. That's about where you're going to hit him. And you short to pass lead him either. Just pass lead him open. So if he has more separation up the middle, then pass lead up. If he has more separation to the right side, pass lead to the right. One, two, three, four, pass lead up. And there you see it. And uh, that's, the way, that's the way we like to use play action slot quarter. Now, let's get into these runs. Uh, so the first run we want to look at is the inside zone. And it's our run to the left. It's also our run in the middle. And it could even be our run to the right. As snap the ball, we're just going to get it. And we want to sort of attack the middle of the field and see what we can pick up. And you see a lot of times you're going to get a lot of yards with this. If we want to, if the defense is weak, so say they base a line. If the, if the defense base lines and they're weak to the left side, then we're just going to run off tackle. So you see we get it. We're just going to run off tackle. He forces us to cut back in, and we just pick up the yardage. All right? So that's the inside zone. And then the counter weak, or the counter is like our home run play. In this situation, when, they, when they've when they going to shift over to the left side, they are not baseline. We have numbers, and we're going to take advantage of them. You see, we get right to the outside, get that one-on-one -on -one with the safety, and make a move and go to the house. That's why we like the counter, because it, it provides the opportunity for an outside run. Now, let me just note that if they baseline, their defense, and they bring eight in the box. You know, it's, you're not, not going to have as much success with this. You see, it gets blown up, and there's not a whole lot of room to go. I mean, you can still probably maneuver for a couple yards, but nowhere near the home run hit that we had on the very first look at this play. So I just want to encourage you. You see, it, it look like this. This is a lot more inside zone look, and you see, because it's a, just a, you know, we can get a cut. And then we can get to the outside and, and you know just take it take it as far as we can go. These runs, guys, are very simple, but you can do a lot with them. You know, you can run the inside zone, and we didn't even show you. If we want to run the inside zone on the right, we're just gonna go in, cut to the right, and then we get that one on one with the safety and make a make a move on him. So that's the inside zone. I really like the inside zone because of the versatility we have with it. Uh and uh yeah. So that's the three-headed rushing attack formation out of the trips tight end, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's going to help you guys learn how to run the ball in Madden 25. Um, running the ball is very effective. That's why we like to use these formations a lot, especially if they're not a disciplined defense. Maybe a 4-3 stack or something to have a lot of guys in the box to stop the runs. So that's why I really, really like these runs, and you're seeing it's destroying the 46 normal, not just any, you know, a, actually a pretty good formation. And then you're going to mix it some play action, and you're going to hit your post routes and, and your screens. And this is just a really difficult formation to stop, not to mention what you could do with your hot routes if you wanted to. Uh, we won't get into all that today. But uh, anyways, guys, that's the Trips Tight End Breakdown. So if you're new to the YouTube channel and you don't know what Scheme of the Week is or what we're doing here, uh, you, you know, either leave it in the comment section below, and I'm sure someone can explain it to you, or you could just go to the YouTube channel and check out some of the previous videos. It could probably give you a good idea as to what we do as Scheme of the Week. So anyways, guys, that's the, that's the video today. I uh, appreciate if you guys could share this on Twitter. Other than that, that's all I've got for you guys today. Try to keep it short today, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.